So guys, you ready to go off? We're gonna do some more Eevee log right now, and we are now gonna head back to Lumios. We established we can't go that way, so we actually have to go back on ourselves a little bit, and I can't think how far back we have to go just to get back there. To try and stop the all evil team Flare. Because you know what? They're doing it with Flare. But I guess it's just a little bit of grinding ready for him. So let's get underway. Oh look, it's Purple Penguin's favorite Pokemon, a Deli Bird. I'm also going to highlight one thing. I suppose some of you are wondering why is the name changed from Roma Enigma to Goffy's Enigma? It's mainly because... I myself Goffy's, I do... I'm going to say a good 95% of the video uploads. You get the odd bit from Roma, so it's more like my channel and I put more effort into it. So you'll be getting a bit of a revamp look to that. But basically I have to get hold of YouTube themselves and ask them Hey YouTube, could you help me edit the, um, give me a new custom URL for the channel because I'm known somewhere else by a different name and it's easier for you guys to find it if we go by this. And that's why we had the, basically had the name change, just because as a person, I've always been Golf Enigma and it was getting hard for people to try and track me down on YouTube, so some people are like, God damn it, can you change your damn custom URL? Because I go to type your name in, I get nothing. I go, yeah, that's because it's Rama Enigma, and they're like, yeah, but you're not called Rama, you're called Goth. And it's like, yeah, I suppose. you got a strong sense there. So I literally got hold of, I sent like an email to YouTube and within five minutes, boom, I had, well, within five minutes, sent the email, two hours later, boom, I had a response. And they're like, yeah, sure, you can change your goggles. That's why we've had the channel name changed. And also going to go into why I'm not doing so many Twitch questions right now. It's because at the minute, I've been A, incredibly busy, and B, we're getting close to the sun and moon. Which is a big deal. Like, huge deal. Well, we just put this Nova to sleep because random Nova, and I, like I said, we're going to battle away, get some easy SP out of it. Help grind up Tater a bit. Anyway. Yeah, with the release of Sun and Moon getting closer and closer. It's sort of like, I'm trying to avoid every potential stalk spoiler out there possible. And what hurts even more is that I've got to wait an additional two weeks, an, an additional seven days because I live in the United Kingdom, which for some stupid ass reason, trade and stand services like, no, the UK's got to wait a week. And it's like, yeah, but the uh, that's just moronic. You've stated in your advertisement world or at least done that trading standard, so you know you gotta wait a week. So we're sort of stuck to go okay, so by the time the game comes out, everyone else worldwide is going to have this game. And they're gonna be playing. So by the time next no. Yeah, that's right, you'll get next week's episode on time as normal. And then I'll we'll start doing my live YouTube Let's Play of Sun and Moon. But what I'm getting at is that already someone has gone and pirated a copy of Sun and Moon and just stuck it on these days as an emulator. And what I find moronic about that is that like, you're not supporting the video game company. The people that essentially make this game that we're playing now and every other game that surrounds this gen and such, you've literally just gone and told them to go fuck themselves. Because they are not able to, if they want to play it, I just dodged that trainer. Uh, basically, if they want to play it, they're telling you, you can easily, uh, like, someone will get a hold of it early and they'll go link it them, they'll go leak the game, and you download it anyway. Meaning it's costing them money. And since I already have my pre orders in, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stick to my pre orders, I'm going to support the company, the video game company, the game that I love. Ooh, Forest Curse. 
And it keeps making us a grass type, I think. But yeah, your game was very jumbled because I'm trying to get it out as it pops into my head sort of thing. But yeah, basically, come two weeks, you'll start seeing more Sun and Moon content appear on my stream. Well, on my ch on this channel. Like, I'll start doing, like, top ten favorites of the Alola region and stuff like that. Or top favorite, um, final stages of the Alola region. Bits and bobs, things like that. But basically, I'm still in RAM mode right now. Like, I'm, Ooh, like there are people that are trying to do this stuff for views and fellowship and make money out of it. I'm not. I'm doing it because I actually enjoy the gameplay. Boom, straight up. There goes quarter. Because like I enjoy setting up every day, get my strip together, and boom, good to go. But what kills me most is how someone can go get a copy of an emulated version of the game. Dump it online and it was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get easy views out of this. No, it doesn't work like that. You gotta build a damn community up straight away. Just because you have it early or you've already got a board capture card doesn't mean you're gonna be you're gonna get like, for example, partner on Twitch within 24 hours, you're gonna get thousands of views, and you're literally going to um, one up everyone. No, if anything, it makes you stand out and look like a dick. Because A, you're not buying the game, therefore you are not submitting supporting um, Game Freak or Pokemon themselves, you're literally just illegally owning a copy of the game. That's why all like Sun and Moon content going up on YouTube but before this sort of goes up. No, we're going to keep Thunderbolt. Um, it's sort of getting hit with DCMA. And over on Twitch, we're waiting for that to happen to those who have got the game early and started doing that. It's kind of stupid. Because, like, no, you're just pissing off an entire community by spoiling the game before you've even had a chance to play it. A bit like when people got their hands on the demo and started hacking into it and found out every last thing about it. I, for one, have not seen any of that, and I'm passionately stuck to not wanting to see anything for this one reason. I don't want to go into a game and know everything. I don't want to go into the next Pokemon game and go, Oh, yeah, that's da-da-da, it can, it's good for da-da-da. It's like, no, no. I won't go into it and actually be amazed with what they've done with Gen 7. So this is going to be a bit of a RAM video mixed in with the Eevee lock. But if I'm making any sort of sense, I want to wait for the game, play it myself, have my own experiences, and enjoy it. I don't want to watch someone else play it and go, oh yeah, I got it early because I don't support the company. I literally downloaded it illegally, therefore I'm breaking the law in a sense, because you are breaking the digital Millennium Act? Copyright Act? Something like that? DMCA? Digital Millennium Copyright Act? Yeah. And it's stupid. Like, you ain't supporting- you ain't supporting this! You ain't supporting the community! You're making it worse! You're literally telling people to go fuck themselves because you don't want to spend money on a new game. And you're thinking that it's gonna get you like this great big boost in viewership, it's gonna get you for example, YouTube partner, Twitch partner, it's gonna make you big. It's not. It really isn't, because you haven't worked your ass off to build up a community. And that's what it comes down to. Like, I've worked my ass off for one year, 10 months, 10, 11 months now. And I feel like I've built up a strong community follower on Twitch. Link will be below as normal, so you guys go check it out. And, um, yeah. I've also worked hard to create content for you guys because I've enjoyed doing it. Like, I enjoy creating the content. The content is what drives me to do it. And, at the end of the day, I just want people to enjoy this content. I know people may just like me now for this ranty video about supporting the community why I'm not streaming on Twitch at the minute. All these various little bits and bobs. But end date, I want to support the games I love. And I ain't gonna go out my way and illegally give my hands to the copy of a game just because I want it. No. I'd rather support the video game company, buy the game, and then play it. I don't know. It's just one of those things I'm passionate about. It's like the other week we had Skyrim Remastered release, so expect a Skyrim Let's Play soon. And yeah, I went out about 2 o'clock in the afternoon to pick up a copy. Couldn't get it anywhere. 
And I literally went from 2 o'clock grinding into about 9 o'clock that night. Because I spent ages trying to get a, ha a copy of the game. And here's the thing, I've teasered it on Twitch. I've played it for like 12 hours straight as like a teaser for people who might enjoy it. But that's the sort of lengths I go. I found, I scrounged up the money just so I could buy it. And I'm doing, and I, I set the donation goal on Twitch for a sun of ages ago. People helped me fill that thing out quicker than I anticipated. But yeah, it's the fact that, see, I'm doing what I can to support the video game industry. May I earn a lot of money out of it? I may earn, let's put it this way, I could earn nothing out of it and I'll be happy. Because I'm supporting the games I love, I'm playing a game I love, and it's enjoyable for people as well. Okay, right, we are now back in Lumio, so what I'll do, I find Pokemon Center. And I'm going to try and sort of cut the rant there, because we don't need to hear like a 20 minute rant. Which people are always just, he's just um, airing his sour grapes. It's not sour grapes, it's nothing of the sort. It's me just saying, go out there and support the damn video game industry, because without that industry, we don't have no games. It's like, for example, say, as I've already mentioned, the leaks of Pokemon Sun and Moon, the emulator stuff. Well, now that's out there, say net. Oh, Game Freak's like, fuck it, we're done, we're not making- I don't care how much money we make, we're not making another game, because some people are that ungrateful they're gonna go ahead and spoil it. And illegally upload a copy of our game, which we worked so hard, we spent thousands of pounds on building, and putting together, and- which then some assholes just downloaded free, making us lose money. It's a money coster, it really is. Okay. What's your special? Castle? Watch your special. Uh, okay, so you, you're gonna be Scrafty. This is where I could use Volt Switch right about now. Come on, let's just switch to goals. Pretty sure he's got nothing to worry us about. Facade, good, because you don't suffer from a status effect, you're not getting an extra power out of that. Which is a beautiful thing. So, Sylvian? Hit it with the Moon Blast. Check, please. Garçon, that food was lovely. Thank you for the mashed potatoes and pie. The special scramble if I don't get out of here now. But what if I don't want to get out of here now? What if I want to fight? And yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Let's switch back to goggles. Maybe I should just lead with goggles. See how goggles does going through here. Come on, fall in love with me. I'm just a cute little Sylvia. That's right, fall in love. Damn it! Eat my moon blast. Open Sesame! 
Wow, it actually worked. Okay, let's go heal up again and grab any potions that we can get. And then we will literally just charge back into it. That works. Wave, hey, wait for me. Okay, Lysander. Let's find out how batshit crazy you've become. Okay, it's dark in here. Oh, that was fast. This would win. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. And the Chosen One will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want a ticket? Or do you want to stop me? Show me! In battle! Shit, Lysander, serious. Look at that serious face. Me and fool. It's okay, we're gonna switch you out. If it fakes out, then we lose nothing. If not, we might about to get paralyzed. Maybe. Uh, I was kind of hoping he was going to miss, but it's okay, we're doing well. Hit it with that moon blast, baby. Oh, yeah! Look at Tater growing up. I bet Craze is real happy with Tater. Tater's doing great. Gyarados! I remember when I got my first Gyarados. It was that great big red thing you get in Hot Gold Soul Silver. And this is where we're gonna want Tater back out. Come back, Ghost. You get. Tater, get ready to do your thing. Hit it with a thunderbolt. Pyro. Please. It's time for my mixtape to show what it can do. There we go. Okay, what's the last one? After goggles and Yui. Murkrow. This must be like some super powerful Murkrow. Cause it's down to Tater again. Tater, you're here to save the world.
Thanks for money, Lysander. <laughs> your convections and those of your Pokemon please me. You are here to stop me, but I ask you to wait. I tried to save the people and the world with the profit from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. The world was just too fast and too full of fools, and I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided the only way to save the world was to take it all for myself. I don't expect that I will ever make you understand and think how I feel. But try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must. But to do so, you have to explore our lab and have, have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Oh, and as for the key, one of the Team Flare scientists you met on your journey has it. Saving everything. The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Damn, that guy's quite serious, right? Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Like, comment, subscribe down below, do what you gotta do. And I will catch you next week. Or I might be nice and upload the next episode early. Say Friday. Uh, we'll see. Enjoy.